Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here. Today we're gonna be diving into fall trends, okay? So you guys know I always do a trend finder. I will have a fashion video coming very soon where I'm gonna be talking about all the trends that are gonna be coming out in fashion for fall 2022. But today I wanted to focus on the color story of 2022. So this is gonna relate to fashion and to makeup. I usually like to do these every year. I do them different ways, but today I wanted to do it primarily talking about the colors that are gonna be in. This is gonna predict what we're gonna be seeing in eyeshadow palettes, what we're gonna be seeing in clothing and garments, like everything is based off of the color story that was picked for fall 2022. So what we're gonna do is go over the colors. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go over some colors. Let's get some predictions. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe if you have not already. I would love for you to be part of this family. And yeah, let's get into it. A lot of stuff to go over, so let's start right now. All right, so before I go ahead and start telling you guys all the colors, we've got some really interesting colors this season. I think that some of you guys are gonna be so excited because I'm kind of excited looking at this color story, okay? So I will show it to you guys. But before we get into it, I do wanna share with you guys a cool little hair product that I have been using. So I did get this sent to me in PR from a company called Beach Waver, and I've been using it so often. Let me show you guys this product and then we'll get into the rest of the video. So Beach Waver partnered with me on today's video so I can show you guys this product right here. So I have it heating up so that I can go ahead and demo it for you to show you how I've been using it. I've been using this to curl my hair lately since they sent it to me. It's such a cool product. So the cool thing too about this is that you can control the heat. So I usually like to leave it on two right here and I'll show you guys little examples and then I'll kind of just go ahead and do my whole head with this. You go ahead and it has a mechanism here. So it allows it to turn. Look at this, this is actually turning on its own. And there's your beautiful curl. This is so easy to curl your hair. Since they sent it to me, I've actually been using this nonstop. I've gotten really good at it. And look at these beautiful beach waves. I'm gonna go ahead and do my entire head using this and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. What I love is that you can make the waves look a little bit more beachy because they're not so perfected. They also have this cool brush that they sent over that helps you comb out the hair without like really removing too much of the wave. I love the hair look. So if you guys are interested in picking up this curling wand, um, I do have a code. It's Christina20 and I will put all the information down below in the description box. But yeah, I think that this is the perfect solution, especially if you're somebody who gets confused with curling your hair with a curling iron. I think that this just makes it so much easier. So now that you guys have seen how I've been styling my hair, let's get into the colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop them on the screen right now. So this is the colors that were introduced by Pantone, which is kind of like the universal color story finder. Like they basically say the colors that are gonna be in. They share it with the designers. Usually this happens a year before the production of the clothes so that they could start to come out with the ideas. And then there's fashion week. So basically designers have known this Pantone color story for basically a year and now it's time to share it because fall 2022 these are gonna be the colors that are in and tell me that you're not looking at the same thing as me look at the greens we've got some mossy looking green color story now for the past few seasons I haven't really been seeing green there was a lot of blue predominantly blues now I do want to point out that there is no purple in here but I have been seeing on the runways that there is a lot of purple being introduced as well so what I'm thinking looking at this is we are going to have a very interesting fall 2022 of maybe jewel toned eyeshadow palettes Yes, I'm very excited. I'm thinking that we're gonna be seeing more of those mossy green eyeshadow palettes, which we've been dying for. At least a lot of us have because I listen to you guys. I read your comments. Everybody wants to see those mossy green color stories. People have been dying to see green incorporated into eyeshadow palettes for quite a while. And I have a feeling this may be the year. I think fall of 2022, going into like holiday and maybe going carrying into spring, we're gonna be starting to see those green incorporations into palettes, so I'm very excited for this. But let's go over the colors. So the first one I see here is this beautiful red. It's almost like a true toned red. So this is gonna be really cool, especially when it comes to fashion. I could see like a bunch of beautiful red toned dresses and silk is really in right now, so I could see silky red dresses. I could see a lot of red lipstick coming now into the fall. So I would say prepare to be seeing a lot of red. And I am a huge fan of 
red. I feel like usually in the holidays, everybody loves to wear red. And it, am I the only one that always has a hard time finding red around the holidays? I'm like, why isn't there any cute red shirts or red dresses? So this year, we're probably gonna be able to get all of those really cute red toned um, dresses and shirts and pants. Now, I am not too keen on red for eyeshadow palettes, so I'm hoping that designers, I'm hoping that the eyeshadow industry is like, yeah, we're not gonna do red for eyeshadow, but we'll definitely be like incorporating it into lipsticks, and I would love to see more red lipsticks. I love a good red lip. So that is a color that I'm excited for for fall. It is a typical color for fall, but I do think it's really pretty, and it has a little bit more of like that deeper red vibe, so I'm excited about that. Now the next one, the yellow, this one shocked me because yellow for fall is usually not something you see. You see that in spring, but I will say in the spring of 2022, a lot of designers incorporated all of this color into fashion, and it just makes sense for it to carry on for a few more seasons because why? you know, why stop it? So I do think that yellow is a really cool color. I hate yellow on me. <laughs> I have this thing that I just don't like yellow, but yellow looks awesome on a lot of people. So I can see a lot of really beautiful yellow, um, maybe even like mustard colored items coming into fashion. I could see mustard being incorporated a lot into eyeshadow palettes. So get ready to see a little bit of mustard details in eyeshadows, also in clothing. It could be kind of cool, especially now in the fall because the next color is a gr the next one is actually like an orange but this is like a bright orange we've seen grungier oranges but I'm actually kind of cool with this one this is like a bright bright orange now I feel like in fashion this is gonna make the most sense they've been incorporating a lot of orange into pants so like suits and stuff that have been very bright and colorful I actually have this really cute orange um, pants that I actually that I haven't worn I actually just got them hemmed, but I haven't worn them. They're so cool, and I got them in the spring, haven't been able to wear them, so I'm just so happy that they carried on because that is a great color story. Um, the next one is pink, and it's like a rosy, hot pink. We saw this in the spring. So this was in blazers, pants, the incorporation of like this rosy pink has been very, very in. I love orange and pink together and just like, doesn't that look like a summer vibe right on the top? But I'm here for it. I think it's really cool to have these colors go into the fall of 2022. I think that designers have wanted to bring more cheery colors, you know, incorporated into the more dull colors for the fall, just because people are starting to go out again. Like, I feel like everything is about being more colorful. And I'm really loving the way that they're doing this with blazers. And I saw this in the spring and I love the trend, the bright colored blazers in pink, and then you've had the orange ones and the blue ones, and I'm so happy it's carrying on into the fall. Then we start getting into the greens. Now this one, Amazon green, this is like a nice strong green. But what I like is I feel like we're gonna see more of those mossy, maybe sage-ish kind of greens, which you guys know is my life. I love a sage green, like sage green or like mossy green. It is like my favorite color in the world. So I am here for this color story. Yes, this one's a little bit more on the green side than I like. Every time I see a green in this direction, I already start thinking we're gonna see eyeshadow palettes with greens. Like even the shirt that I have on today is like a brown, but it has like that greenish hint to it. I love those earthy tones and I feel like earthy tones are gonna start creeping their way into fall and I'm excited to see that, especially in makeup. So the next one is Arctic Wolf. So this is like a nice white. So white was really big for spring. Bridal was so in for spring, like a bridal look. They're incorporating that back into the fall of 2022, maybe making it a little bit more like an off-white, but it's still white. I love winter white. I think it's a beautiful, very elegant way to wear clothes. It's, you know, you can wear a blazer all in white. You can wear white pants. Just gorgeous. So white to me, beautiful color. You're gonna see it more in fashion than you will in makeup, but I think it would be cool if um, we started seeing white eyeliners, especially for the lash line. Now, I have been seeing a lot of like incorporation of crystals and doing a little bit more artistic eyes. Like it's been a thing for, I guess since like Euphoria started, people started doing this, but I've been seeing it more incorporated into like runways and also like on red carpets. So I'm starting to think that we're gonna see a little bit more incorporation of like glitters and 
placements of crystals and stuff like that in makeup, which is kind of interesting. So the next one is actually kind of like a beige-ish color. Um, I do know that there's going to be a lot of emphasis on like very basic clothes, like basics, but modernized to make them a little bit less basic. We'll go over that when we talk about the trends, but I do feel like this is going in that direction, like kind of incorporating tones that are very easy to mix and match with other colors because they're trying to stick a little bit to basics, which makes sense if you see these really bright tones that are incorporated into fall of 2022, you need colors that match well. So I do like this. This is a nice like beige, I think it's called Autumn Blonde, which feels like it has a hint of like an orange into it. So I do like that color. That's really pretty. So I like Polar Night as well. This is a really cool, like almost like grayish, it looks to me like kind of like a grayish blue, right? Such a cool color. I like this. I could see this with pants. I could also see it with really cool eyeshadows and doing like more like midnight kind of looks. So that's a really cool color. I think that's beautiful. The next one has me excited. So this is going into the mossier greens, like the earthier greens. I love this color. I I'm thinking that we are going to see Natasha Denona's retro, which is going to incorporate greens for the fall. I think we're going to see it for holiday because the color story for the fall, it just even goes with it, you know, like almost like it's the perfect time. I love that. I love the gray. I think the gray is beautiful. I, I love a gray suit. I think that gray incorporated into eyeshadow and making things a little bit more cool tone is also kind of wanted. I feel like we've had so much warmth for so many years that incorporating a little bit of more cool tone to eyeshadows is going to be something warranted by people. I think a lot of people want it, you know? Okay, so I'm not shocked by this. There is a nice baby pink. The incorporation of pink has been like everywhere. Like they have, pink has been like dominant color. And I feel like pink is going to be like one of those colors for fall, which is shocking, but don't be shocked by seeing a lot of pink. I actually love this baby pink. I think it's really, really pretty. I like softer pinks, like to me, like a soft pink and a soft sage are like ideal colors together. So I do like this. I think it's pretty. So. So now we have this color here. So the blue in here is actually really interesting to me for fall. I feel like this one is a little bit too blue, to be honest. Like, I just don't see it as much for the fall, but I think that because they're trying to incorporate color into fall, they're, they're using like more like that icy blue. I don't know if for me personally, I'm going to be on board with this type of tone for fall. I could see it in eyeshadows, but even that, like, it just doesn't feel fall to me. So, like, this color, I'm like, eh, like, I'm not loving that one, but I do love this caramel. Get ready to see colors, right? Get ready to see colors like this. This is going to be huge for fall. So, you're going to be seeing, like, those caramelly kind of tones in pants, in outfits. There's going to be, like, a grungier kind of um, vibe to colors. And I actually love this for makeup as well because this goes awesome with those like mossy greens. Even with this above, like can't you see a really cool like eyeshadow palette forming from like just those two colors with maybe some greens and incorporating a little bit of purples in there? So excited. Okay, so here's Midnight. I'm not shocked by this. Taylor Swift is coming out with something called Midnight. She's also on trend with the color stories that are in for fall. Yeah, so a midnight color is going to be really in. It's kind of like a really dark, it's a really nice blue. It's not like an in-your-face blue. It has a little bit of like that gray into it. So I do like that for fall. I think it's interesting and I could see myself wearing this color. I actually got a blazer just recently that has, I would say it's a little bit more electric blue, but just knowing that blue is going to be predominant for fall as well, it's kind of interesting to me because I know that I could wear that blazer more. Um, and then the olive color, yes, I love this olive color. This is everything to me. This is basically telling me that my dream palette may release this year. Like I may see that olive green really grungy, but not too grungy with a little bit of pinks in it. Like, can't we see that color story is happening? I feel like fall of 2022 is going to be the year that we're going to see that really beautiful eyeshadow palette. 
And because I was telling you guys that purple was being seen a lot on the runways, it's probably because the Pantone color of the year is very peri, which is a purplish tone. Now we didn't see that in the color selections for fall of 2022, but I did see a lot of designers including purple into their collections. So that's basically just like that's the color of the year is like a purplish tone. So now that you guys have seen this color story and you guys get an idea of what we're going to be seeing in fashion and also in makeup because makeup also uses these ideas to see what's going to be in because if you're seeing pink everywhere you're seeing green everywhere you know the the makeup industry also wants to release colors that are similar or stuff that meshes well with the clothing that's going to be out so now that we've seen it all what do you guys think of the colors of fall of 2022? Can you imagine your favorite eyeshadow palette releasing this year? I have a feeling we're going to see some really beautiful, well curated collections coming for holiday. I'm really hoping so, but I have a feeling we may see less quantity, more quality, and hopefully with color stories that we have just seen, we're going to see something really, really beautiful from a lot of brands. I would say like Anastasia releasing this palette was kind of an indicator to me that fall was going to go in a direction like this because even though she released this at the end of spring, was it spring or summer? I don't, I don't remember, but it was just recent. Like she just released this just not that long ago. I already could tell, okay, so we're going in this type of direction. Something like this is going to be seen more often. I just think we're going to see a little bit more jewel tones in here to make it a little bit deeper for the fall. And I am here for it. I want to know from you guys, what do you think? think. I can go through my collection and try to find eyeshadow palettes that kind of have this vibe that I think is going to have a vibe for fall 2022. Let me know if you want me to do a whole video on that down below, but I am excited. I'm here for it. I think it's going to be an amazing season for color and eyeshadow palettes and fashion and I'm here for it. So leave your comments down below. Are you excited for fall 2022? Do you like these color stories? Can you see your like dream eyeshadow palette coming out this year? Leave it down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Of course, if you are interested in purchasing the Beach Waver, I will have the coupon code come up on the screen one more time for you guys. All the information will be down in the description box and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.